What's up, you guys on YouTube? Um, it's Tony Dempsey here with Straight Talking Dirty Turkey Calls. I have had, I think, close to 2,000 views of my pot call making video, and I want to thank each and everybody that has watched it or watched a little bit of it. <coughs> um, I've gotten several emails asking for help, and I'm going to make a disclaimer right now. I'm not a professional. Um, I'm an amateur call maker. Um, my calls sound pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with some of them. Still working on a few. It's a learning process. I hope it never stops with the learning process. But I want to go over some key things that I think will help you guys better understand the mechanics of what goes into a pot call. Like I said, I'm an amateur. I'm still learning. But I've noticed certain changes that I've made that made big sound factors in my calls that made them sound better than from when I very first started. So I'm going to start off <clears throat> with this right here. I actually cut a call in half so I could better explain what goes on the inside because once you glue it up you can't really figure it out or if you're looking at somebody else's calls trying to figure them out um you'll drive yourself nuts so i'm going to tell you some of the key things that have helped me um once you figure out your overall call height your outside height top and bottom it's going to usually run Three quarters of an inch is too small. And I don't like to make anything over 13 sixteenths um, on my my overall height of my call. It's just what works for me. Um, you're going to have to find this out for yourself. But I would say stay away from three quarters, period. Um, you might be able to get a good, good sounding call, but you're not going to have any room for any error, though. Every dimension's got to be like spot on for you to have a good sounding call with an overall pot height of three quarters of an inch. So buy your material at least one inch, seven eighths. Um, those are good woods. You're not going to be wasting a lot of a lot of wood when you're turning down to get it down to that size. <clears throat> All right, your air gap from the bottom of your playing surface to the top of your soundboard the slate is the soundboard the glass is the uh, striking surface kind of show you <clears throat> that air gap is one of the key features that you need to fine tune find your number and stick with it like I said in my call make a video you'll get a lot of guys that will help you but they won't give you numbers that's a key thing your pedestal diameter that right there to that right there is your pedestal you got to find your diameter whether it's an inch and three quarters two inches one inch inch and a quarter inch and seven eighths you just got to find your diameter now what that does is if you think about it sorry if you think about it Imagine a circle going around the call and you strike over top of it. You're going to get your high note up here and your low note down here. Think about it. You just got to think about this stuff. So when you strike and a, a hen yelp goes, oh, yelp, 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 that's what you're doing. That's what you're creating. When you cross over that pedestal, that's how you're getting that rollover, that high to low note. So find your pedestal diameter, what works for you. Next thing, I don't know how any other call maker does it, but this is how I do it. I take the measurement from where the lip starts on my surface, and I measure down to the floor of my call, which I call this from the, 
the edge of my outside diameter of my pedal stool to the edge of the wall that's my sound chamber like I said I don't know if this is proper I don't know if this is correct this is just as what is working for me and my calls sound pretty darn good um, like I said, I'm not an award-winning call maker. I'm an amateur. I'm still learning. Um, <clears throat> you're going to have to find that distance from the bottom to the bottom of the floor of your inside of your call that creates that sound chamber. Um, I was talking to a guy that's been in the business for over 30 years, and he actually told me to pay attention to the thickness of the floor too that's going to change i don't know what it's going to change i'm going to head out to my shop here in a few minutes and uh i actually got a call another call i actually made this call gabu and ebony for a customer down in texas i sent him a sound clip he liked it so much he's buying a second one for his guide tickled me pink so i gotta go outside and make another one for him and i gotta get it to him before april <laughs> <clears throat> um another another key thing is is this is cherry wood and i suck at making cherry pot calls this is why this is chopped in half um so i kind of gave up on it for the time being summer's coming up i'm, I'm probably going to play around with cherry wood um after turkey season my season don't start until like the last week of april up in uh south zone of uh of ohio um but I've heard plenty of cherry calls, crystal over slate, uh, glass over glass, glass, crystal over glass. I mean, I've heard so many good calls come out of a cherry pot. And I just, I, 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 I suck at, at making a cherry pot. So that's one of my goals this, this off season, when after turkey season, is I'm going to figure one out. I'm going to find my sound that I, I'm happy with, that I like coming out of a cherry call um the pedestal if you can see inside there right here i hollow mine out sometimes you'll have to put like a 3 8 forstner bit to cut the the space inside of them you don't have to do that like i said this is all trial and error find your sound you can leave that stuff solid i know a call maker that leaves his pedestal completely solid his call sound phenomenal doing it i tried it i didn't care for the sound it is what it is that's the whole thing about making calls is finding your sound to your eardrum somebody else will like your call trust me even though you might not like the sound of it play it for somebody else and somebody else will probably say that sounds like a turkey it'll kill a turkey and that's the whole key thing of making these things is killing turkeys so I wanted to give you a little bit of insight on that. Make sure your distance between your soundboard top and the bottom of your playing surface correct. Get it. Find your find your number. If it's two slate pieces, that's what you do. That's what you do. Two glass pieces, a slate and a piece of glass, whatever it may be. They're all different thicknesses, so get a pair of calipers also. And measure this stuff. Write it down. Take lots of notes. Um, pedestal diameter, I'm going to repeat it, pedestal diameter, find your diameter, what I call the sound chamber, the distance from the outside diameter of my pedestal to the inside wall, um, find that, the, the distance from the top or the bottom of the playing surface to the bottom of the inside of the call, find that number, and then also your wall thickness, um, you don't want it super thick, like what the bottom would be. You don't want it that thick. It'll Any piece of wood you put that in, it'll sound like crap. You want to thin it out. This is all about vibrations, kind of like a box call. Box call, you thin out the walls on it to get what you want. And I know nothing about a box call. I just know how to run them. So um, there's a science, a craft behind it. And those guys are phenomenal box call makers out there. That They're, they're insane. Matt Van Syce, Val. Uh, Mike Robert, um, Steve Savage, uh, Preacher Man, um, they're phenomenal box call. Nathan Taylor down in, I think he's in West Virginia. He's, I think he just dabbled into it this past year or so. His box calls are sounding phenomenal. Um, it's all a learning process. 
I'm not saying go out and make box calls or I, I I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm sticking to these until I, I, I what I feel I might master or become really, really good at making these things. Um, I've learned so much over the seven years, self-taught. Like I said, you're not going to get dimensions from other call makers, but they're going to point you in the right direction. Um, you just truly got to find what sounds good to your eardrum. That's all I wanted to put out there. Um, short video. Just remember, those are the key things. Save, you know, save this video. Um, tell your friends about it. Uh, hit the subscribe button. You guys are, uh, actually, I've gotten so many subscribers over the last couple months. Um, my channel, it, it, it was never really attended to. I don't care about subscribers. Um, I basically put my videos on there for myself. So I can have a media file of my progression of my call making um, from when I got started to where I'm going. And um, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So with all that said, um, subscribe, hit like buttons, make a comment. Like I said in my uh, pot call video, if you guys got questions, I'd be more than glad to help you out, answer them as best as I possibly can. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a professional. I'm still learning myself. So um, maybe we can learn something together too. I'm not afraid to learn. So thanks for watching. Um, and look for more videos to come. I'm, I'm going to start posting. I got a bunch of sound clips of different calls that I've been making. And uh, I just haven't had no time to, to post them anywhere. Uh, I'm not really on social media um, you can email me at straighttalkingdirty.com or at gmail.com or tony 2 tone 7702 at gmail.com um, you can go to my website uh, straighttalkingdirty.com I actually have to update that also um, I'm thinking about getting rid of it I don't sell any calls off of it really um, I get more more emails about calls than anything and then we exchange phone numbers and I do business that way so uh, yeah if you guys got any questions just hit me up hit me up on on YouTube too I mean you can that maybe we can exchange a phone number there or emails or whatever um, but just remember it's a learning process it, it's it's everything changes everything and write down your changes change one thing at a time peace out